You know there are three things that should never be commercialized. Number one, number one is education. Well, let's talk about them individually. I'm gonna uh, help you to see the rest. So education, you know, human beings need to naturally get educated and we need to learn various skills and things and techniques and knowledge. And if you commercialize it, then you're putting a barrier between human beings and education, which is not wise, not right. Here living on this planet, we're like in a big house altogether, and you would be very wise to best benefit your fellow human beings because them benefiting, they can create more advanced technology, which ultimately will benefit your life. So education, even formal education should be free in my opinion. Anyone should have access to it. You know, obviously finances and food matter, so resources, are, the resources are a question, but it should be on a donation basis or it should be somehow we should, uh, Make this we should manage this okay number two is so education health health should also be free it should never be a barrier for cost why well because think of uh, the United States as it currently happening if you have some kind of very damaging illness it's gonna cost you a lot of money whereas in Canada that's not like that I'm gonna talk to about talk to you about my personal experience in Canada because in Canada you uh we have free universal health care which means that everyone pays their tax dollars towards this particular free health care and if you have something wrong with you you simply go to the doctor and say hey this is what's wrong with me and he helps you out and that's about it unless maybe if he prescribes some kind of medicine or pills like i remember one day i had some skin ailment from coming back from overseas and the doctor prescribed me some medicine and he said yeah half of it is covered by taxes and half of it is because you have to pay and it was something like 15 to 20 dollars I remember walking to my house and I was feeling so overwhelmed and blessed to have lived in a country that has free healthcare. That no matter what, I don't have the fear that, oh man, uh, you know, if I get sick, I'm gonna have to break the bank and some bad things are gonna happen to me. I'm gonna have to lose all my money. Or even worse, if I don't have money, then I'm gonna have to lose my life ultimately. So that's not, why, that's not wise, that's not right. The most powerful, the most spiritual land in the, on the planet, which is currently the United States, has to change this. This has to be the direction that you're going towards all of you in the United States. If you're listening to me in the United States, step one is just to take, uh, undertake this understanding and to take on this kind of belief or opinion. Those two words on the right w words, but you get what I'm saying. And the third thing that should never be commercialized is of course, spiritual practice. That's why I do not commercialize my spiritual practice. Although I run ads on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna have to really reconsider maybe running mid-roll ads. I think I'm gonna stop running mid-roll ads, but uh, maybe the beginning ad and the uh, end ad, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I think maybe I'll still continue running ads. I'm not sure because I have monetization on my channel, which by the way, congratulations to me. I finally reached my uh, goal of monetizing this channel, which means I'll be getting paid small amounts of change or money every single time that you watch an ad of mine. And ultimately that will lead to me feeding myself and funding my life. So thank you very much. Each and every single time you watch my video, that will help me to fuel my life. So I'll have to uh, consider running mid-roll ads or I'll really have to investigate uh, this ad business. Yet aside from this, apart from this, I'm not commercializing my spiritual progress and my spiritual growth and my spiritual contribution. So someone reached out to me on my comment section and said, oh, hey, you know, you're asking for donations for a YouTube channel but uh, spirituality shouldn't be commercialized. Well, I'm not sure. And also someone else uh, mentioned to me that, oh, well, you know, sh commercial uh, spirituality shouldn't be commercialized. You should go get a regular job, do some something reg regular, random. And then after you make the money, then on your spare time, teach spirituality. Well, that's not acceptable. That's not wise to me because that's gonna take so much of my time, so much of my energy, so much of my resources. That's not wise. So the Buddha did it in the right way. You know, he offered donations, the possibility of donations. So you can donate to me whatever you choose to see fit. Like for example, I'm opening up this possibility for you that my PayPal link will be down below and you can choose to donate to me whatever you want. By the way, I'm seeking $400,000 United States uh, cash in exchange for me developing some kind of a uh, yoga studio or yoga center or yoga space within myself. I don't know how long that is from now, how long that's going to take for me to actually uh, find my land and build on this land, but that's just the intention that I'm setting forth. So if you have 400 grand to spend, Send it over to me, okay? No big deal, just say it very casually. And also the spiritual teachings, the spiritual lessons that I'm giving you now, even right now, uh, it is all for free. There's no charge to this. 
And also I'm exchanging my time and my energy, my resources towards giving you spiritual consultations, which means uh, just talk to me as a friend, as a spiritual friend and companion. I've gone very far in this kind of game in the spiritual path and so I can naturally assist you and remove the obstacles that you're dealing with and set you on the right trajectory as I've been doing so for the last well, month and a half since uh, people started to talk to me and I literally get messages every single day someone new wanting to reach out to me and saying hey I want a spiritual consultation and I do and I talk to them and uh, you know I wisely help them so it would be unwise and I saw this from the beginning it'd be very unwise for me to say hey you know uh, I'm charging $50 or I'm charging $100 or I'm charging $2,000 for my spiritual consultation it'll literally change your whole life it'll manifest your reality you'll be so wise to do so by the way, you can see I'm staying in a hostel, which definitely I need to change. And the only way that's going to change is by me improving, by me monetary gaining monetary wealth and success. And that's going to help. That's going to, that's going to be done through me simply talking to you and you exchanging your donations in, uh, in exchange for my, my work and my energy. So like I was saying that uh, I'm not putting a barrier between my spiritual practice or my spiritual knowledge and wisdom towards your benefit because why it's too beneficial the spiritual practice the spiritual yeah, spiritual practices too valuable it's too beneficial for you to miss out on simply because you don't have sixty dollars or you don't have fifty dollars or whatever is how much uh, it is for you to spend on my uh, knowledge so it is even more important that spiritual spirituality should be free or at no cost free of cost or at least on a donation basis of course resources need to be uh, upheld because I need to eat food, I need to shelter myself, I need to clothe myself, I need to take care of my basic necessities here as uh, living on planet Earth. If I was some formless body, then maybe that would be natural and okay, but I'm not like that yet. <laughs> so that has to be done, that needs to be done, take, uh, needs to take in place. As well as, yeah, if I'm putting a barrier to you, then you can miss out on life, truly. Okay, it's one thing to have your health fall into a bad place, or it's one thing to not be educated in math and know one plus one equals two or two plus two equals four that's still acceptable that's still okay but spirituality is the wisest thing you can do is the wisest thing you can look towards in life and uh this must happen this must take place spirituality should be free free of cost as it is now so reach out to me my friends reach out to me for a spiritual conversation my links will be down below add me on facebook talk to me in exchange for donations so again even if you're a young young man young boy i've i have a lot of young men especially watching me, listening to me, and also talking to me in exchange for, uh, well, I mean, for a spiritual conversation. And I help them and I tremendously help them. Why? Because they're receptive, they're intuitive, and they see my value and they're, and they're willing to make the changes very quickly and effortlessly. Whereas maybe if you're a little bit older, it's a little bit more challenging for you or you kind of steeped in your own ways. And they naturally don't have any money to spend on me because uh, I, well, I'm like this and they're, you know, in university and they're studying and they're also paying for themselves. They, they can't afford to spend money on me. And I would suggest you don't, okay? Even if you have $20, don't, better you not give it to me, better you feed yourself and, you know, focus that attention on yourself. But if you do have money to spend, if you do have, uh, the word is disposable income, meaning that you can dispose, let's say, 20% of your assets or even that's maybe too much, maybe like 1% or 0.1% of your, of your entire monetary amount towards me, towards my me spiritually growing because I'm still spiritually growing. I'm still evolving. I'm still learning about life and still mastering myself. That's uh, ultimately going to inevitably come back to you. Why? Because I'm literally here helping everyone else. That's all that I'm here to do. Uh, I don't care about anything else. I'm not here selfishly benefiting myself and you know, in whatever ways I can't, I can't do that anymore. So whatever energy you take, you give into me, I will make sure to put out forward.